Well, to be perfectly honest, Kano Star is only really good for physical damage. Anything else, it kind of sucks. But I thought we would mostly be dealing with physical damage until we got to the living failures, so I just sort of went with it. Maybe I'm regretting it a little now. Let's hope nothing too terrible exists here. But yeah, those uh, pressure plate traps with the shelves are definitely an issue. And you see, the problem with this here is I really just want the brain fluid. There's no great prize for killing the hunter, and it's going to be hard. On the other hand, sometimes he kills himself off because he's dumb. But he's not that dumb. Uh, what's the best way to do this? That pistol's probably going to knock me right out. Yeah, he's not playing, for sure. Here's what we'll do. You die. Give me brain fluid. Good. Now I can have some fun with you. Including, but not limited to. You're stuck, aren't you? That's all that happens. Haha! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> I was hoping to knock him off with the axe, but that was just as good. I'll take it. And our little blob friend has come back to life. Well, we got ourselves we got ourselves some brain fluid. Step one of the quest complete. How do I get down from here though? <laughs> now that I think about it. Maybe I didn't think this through. You have anything to say? Lady Maria, Armor Robin. Fascinating. Okay. Classy, where you go? <laughs> and we're back on track. Although I need to pull this lever to get back to the top floor. Still, that was a good way to handle it. That can sometimes be more trouble than that, but somehow ninjaed our way past it. And that's all I wanted. But now, for the worst part, we have to get to the top of the, uh, the research hall and turn the stairs. And when that happens, everything will become slightly different and more difficult. Crap, crap, crap. Damn it. <laughs> I'm really trying my best here. It's not working. Oh crap, where did you come from? Tell you what. You guys have fun. I'm just gonna book it. <laughs> Gotta know sometimes when to burn your bridges and cut your losses. Ooh, that was a bit freaky. I really didn't expect that guy to come up from behind me. I don't really know what happened there. You guys I can do without. Please? You're not helping anybody. Hmm, let's see. This away.
This is one of the coolest level mechanisms they ever made, though. It's just sweet how such a simple change can affect the level geometry. Below. Uh, I think I have... Do I have to go get someone's brain fluid before I go down there? Probably. Seems like a good idea. Oh, this one's my favorite. Have you heard how curious be the sea giant? Like a storm. But like the like rain. The rain only gentle. Only gentle like dripping water. <laughs> Sorry. I can't I can't follow his uh tone of voice at all, but the actual words he's saying do suit me to a T. That and the guy bashing his head over here. I love the the creepy uh, references to things beneath the water. There you go, another guidance rune. And you, and you too will hear the sound of. Oh, ah! I hear the sound of rat. And ah! I'm gonna blame you for that, dude. On the other hand, this is a very short way down to the bottom floor again. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I had that much to do on the way down. The main thing at this point is just to get to the Living Failure's boss room. Not necessarily to collect anything specific from the actual research hall itself. Sight, is it? Not really. The true face of the blood worshipping, beast purging, healing church. But that's not all. You then here's what you must do climb no. the astral clock tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. So you say. She hides. <laughs> How did you even know about Maria, though? I'm not even really against the idea that you might know, but I'm still interested in how you know. Alright, we've got these things to deal with. In all their glory. I would like to pick up the lock shield, though, to be honest. I think it might be interesting to see if I can use it. Also, I've been considering a... Uh, a, a somewhat fun, weird playthrough of Bloodborne involving being a tentacle monster and using some of the items that I would rarely ever use myself, like the lock shield. But uh, that's for another time. Still, it would be nice to pick it up. Please, could you do something for me? Because a level 4 character with a new game plus option fluid. is actually kind of appealing to me. Oh, Let's give the brain fluid there. Jump, jump, jump. Do. Sure. Oh. Oh, I'll have you. So do come. Oh, that's right. You might be a saint, but you're kind of picky about who you give blood to, right? Oh, you would. Except blood. I'm Good. Sorry. <laughs> Adeline. That's it. All good. All well. Now I just have to remember how to get to the floors I need to get to. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's as simple as that. I don't know where I'm going, and therefore I have trouble getting there. Hi! And bye. How do I get to the landing with the block shield, is my first priority. Can I eyeball it? Okay, so it's down there. Which means I can get there if I just sort of carefully go down from here. And then 
kill this horrible thing. And pick it up. Lock shield. Now, is there anything nearby wanting me dead? Looks okay for the moment. I'm just a little curious. Ah! Damn it. Takes 11 strength. Not for mere mortals, unfortunately. Fist of Gradius still works, though, which I'm still kind of surprised by. Although this position probably doesn't do me any favours. I have no idea where I'm going now. Oh, crap. Ah! I almost dodged back into my own doom. People throwing shit at me. Ran out of energy there? Good for you. Where do you keep pulling them from, anyway? That doesn't sound good. Oh, wait. This is one of those where if I go the wrong way, if I turn in the wrong direction, I'm going to get insta-killed by whatever is in there. But I can't remember whether it's the left or the right. This is a problem. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess and say this way. Okay, I chose the right direction. Good. I thought if he was hiding there, the axe would have clipped him when I used it before. So when it didn't happen... Tactics! Smarts. This is how you play intelligently. Until you walk on a pressure plate and get instantly killed. <laughs> or just have that happen. These guys are bastards. I'm glad I have enough defense to absorb some hits. Otherwise this would be a huge pain. And the boss door is there. Uh, I seem to have gone up a landing too many. But I can probably still get there. Maybe. Maybe not. No, it seems I really have gone up too far. That's a shame, because I can't oh, I also can't go up any further, which would have been okay. As a means to uh get where I was going. Nope, seems my uh, effort to get the lock shield has basically left me with no choice. I'm pretty much stuck on this floor now. But I did get the key to the garden area, so not a complete loss. I just can't go anywhere from here. <laughs> I knew the garden area is probably not useful for me. I usually just die in there anyway, trying to... I usually run to get the black sky eye, and then just let everything around me kill me, because it's a terrible, terrible pain to fight those guys. Still, let's get it out of the way, maybe. Locked? Hmm. Did I get the wrong key to the wrong area? Hang on. I thought that was the balcony key I picked up. Did I? Oh wait, no, I picked up the key to the... the underground cells. That's right. So who had the key to the balcony? Was it Annalise? Did she give it to you after you give her two brain fluid? I'm trying to remember. You agitated yet? Oh, don't be greedy. Alright, from memory... 
you have to defeat the living failures and or Maria. And then she will probably give me what I want. I don't quite remember what sets her off to to uh, become agitated and ask for more brain fluid, but it's probably progress in the DLC of some description. Most likely the living failures. If I kill them, that will probably give me what I need for the moment. I need to try and remember which floor leads to the landing I need to be on. So, slightly higher than this. Oh wait, here it is. I think you just go up here and twist around. And here we are. Cool. I failed. <laughs> are you trying to be a failure? There's a bunch of those behind this door. Uh, okay, this is where it'll get tricky. I figure... Probably Arcane is, uh... uh then again... I don't really plan to be hit by Arcane that much. But I can imagine myself getting hit a lot by, uh... Physical attacks, so I don't actually know which one's the best way to go. Guess we'll go for the choir first. If it turns out my balance is completely off, then we'll uh, do something about it. Either with runes or armor. Now my flaming saw cleaver probably... Nah, maybe the axe. I honestly don't know. This fight probably won't be that bad, but it might be. I still have nightmares about trying to fight it with an arcane build, but that was mostly because there's not a lot you can take advantage of when you've got an arcane build. Or I should say a weaponless arcane build. It was terrible. You can go watch the, uh, the other series if you want. It took a long time to beat these guys. Yeah, that's a problem, to say the least. Oh dear, look at that damage. Well, might be a lot of damage, but it seems like I can put out quite a bit of damage myself without really putting a lot of effort into it, I would say. Just gotta watch out for some of those more troublesome types. Damn it. Actually, this is not a lot of damage, is it? Still, you can always take out a lot of the uh, arcane guys health when you get a chance. The axe might... Oh! Oh! Whoa! What was that? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Some sort of ground explosion. I don't remember them having that. And I got totaled by that... Was it the attack or the spell? I don't know. I was distracted, let's put it that way. <laughs> I think I might need a bolt weapon. Hello? Oh, it seems like she's uh, responding. Please, I'm trying, but I'm afraid. Well, how about some more? There's the balcony Please, key. Do not abandon me. Oh well. Wait, do you say anything after that? Oh, the sticky sound. Is click. Slip, slop, slip, slop. <laughs> you, can you hear me? 
Okay, you're going kind of strange. But, uh, all good. Anyway, up. Uh, gotta love the phantoms in these games sometimes. I'll see you at the boss room. Yes, yes, okay. Um, basically, I have a bolt weapon now, and I've changed my armor and defenses up a little bit. We're running Arcane Lake now, the plus 10% version, because I have it. And hopefully it'll stop me being one-shotted by spells, but we'll have to see. Uh, the bolt weapon is probably not as strong as the fire weapon, but I'm hoping the weakness part will make up for it. But bolt gems are very really hard to come by, even with an ordinary build. Yeah, it does feel like it did a bit more damage than before. I really don't like these guys, though. Oh! Crap, I tried to roll away from that and I got caught in it. Okay! That is still instant death. Good to know, I guess. 